you had to do it. You had to release a, a massive new, just fully just revitalized interface on a Sunday. You know, I, I thought I was going to unpack my van this morning. I thought I was going to sit back and relax for the rest of the day, but no. Now I got to sit here and do this review. Let's check it out. Virtual DJ 2020. <music> So anybody that's seen my comparison of Serato DJ versus Virtual DJ, a lot of people know that you know I really liked Virtual DJ. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of just um, powerful features, especially for the mobile DJ that uh, is MySpace, that you know just really are superior in so many instances. But one of the shortcomings I thought of the interface was a uh, just the the overall look of the interface just looked dated and you know it's just it was just one of those things that even though I did switch it took me a while to kind of yeah you know, somewhat get used to but I was always still just a reluctant yeah I use virtual DJ but yeah you know, this is what it looks like it's a little bit of I won't quite call it an eyesore but it is something to get used to but virtual DJ now has changed the entire structure of this and instead of just looking at me talking uh, from this perspective, let's head over to my desktop. Let's pop this up. All right, so we're over here to my desktop. And yes, I did launch uh, Serato DJ Pro uh, to give a side-by-side because -side, a lot of this kind of really stemmed from my uh, desire to switch over from Serato to Virtual DJ. And one of those uh, you know, big issues for me from initially switching both uh, back in 2013, and then again when I started re-exploring this, was the look of the interface. So right now you're seeing on the right-hand side the original, the old interface that you, in the uh, 2020 version. You can switch back to the older one if that's something that you still do like and want to go to that. And you know, for me, you, know, it, you can make... Uh, you know things out of this and these uh, uh, screens are shrunk down to what the equivalent of a 13 inch screen would be so um, basically in the left hand side with Serato if you minimize it uh, to its uh, smallest size that is what fits inside a, a 13 inch screen versus I resized it over virtual DJ so you get you know what you would have on typically your smallest uh, laptop you know that you would normally use you know, you could theoretically use a 12 or 11 inch uh, laptop it would be really kind of pushing it. I would definitely 13 is the smallest. Now, um, you know, right off the bat, you can see how the you know, the Serato uh, interface definitely is just a, a lot less going on. Um, you know, just a lot more clarity uh, in the things that are happening, and um, basically it's just kind of like the stuff that you just need to get there, the immediacy of it. When we head over here to the original. Uh, virtual DJ so this is uh, version 8 uh, 2019 because they kind of have a different uh, naming nomenclature now and then prior to that um, you see you know th this is what I would call a laptops uh, you know equivalent of what they need you know having all the effects immediately available on screen of course loops you know your media controls gain and all that you know again some of these things are definitely mimicked over here in uh, Serato but I definitely think in just a less elegant way. So let's switch over now to what the new interface is. And we're actually going to start this by going to the default starter look. So they uh, now have this kind of tone arm look uh, for what's out, uh, out of the gate. But if you notice, a lot of the buttons now have a bit more space in between everything and uh, that definitely I, I call it the clickable interface where you you know go to click on something if you're using your finger and you won't accidentally touch something else so there's definitely more space in between things seem to be a little bit more clearly delineated in it and again this is just the uh, the starter interface this is something I personally would not use there is an essentials interface which definitely brings more information onto screen like your your uh, three band EQ your filters you know just more information is uh, listed in here but definitely where I would find more uh, value in this is pro and performance so Here's the pro look, uh, just to show this one out of the gate, and here's the performance look out of the gate. Now, if you noticed right off the bat, the pro look um, with this particular layout definitely has a much more, uh, you know, nod to the Serato interface. 
and for good reason. You know, the Serato interface has been also mimicked by other uh, platforms because it's pretty easy and simple to use. I think one of the distinguishing features of Serato definitely is the white background with it. You know, the, the, uh, the text clearly pops out in instances like that. You know, it, it just has this, you know, uh, actionable uh, look if you want. Definitely Virtual DJ uh, started going for that in this design to give you a much more Serato-like interface. Now, um, there's definitely some uh, tons, I didn't even say some, tons of customizable options in here. We can go with different contrasts for each particular scheme all the way up to daylight. And one additional mode that is in here is a contrast mode for daylight. And also Serato DJ Pro has this as well. Yeah, I almost never get thrown in situations like this, but it's nice to have something if the sun is just incredibly bright and you need to kind of flip around that. But we're not here so much for daylight mode. Uh, it has been a feature in uh, Virtual DJ for a while. Like I said, but this layout definitely has some uh, very interesting things to think about. There's also a performance uh, mode as well. So I think this might even be the, the best of uh, the, the options out there because not only in performance mode, um, you can also uh, choose your waveform positions, colors and all that. So if you're in performance mode with this, it is probably the closest that you'll see to what uh, the Serato interface looks like, kind of just like pound for pound. Uh, you definitely get a little bit bigger waveform area uh, then the pro and then say you use scratch there's definitely uh, less uh, of that screen uh, to deal with there is of course uh, po different positioning again you can do this in um, all the skins in pro and performance you can change your uh, waveform location whatever you know feels more comfortable for you I'm really gravitating towards this vertical why? I mean, let, let's just face it, I've gotten used to the Serato interface. And while I did, you know, generally uh, come to accept the virtual DJ interface as I used it for months, you know, there's definitely some aspects of it that still, you know, just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And it is it is what it is. I mean, there wasn't anything that we could do about it until now, now that, you know, virtual DJ really spent some serious time uh, fishing out some really good ideas here and getting those into the interface. There was uh, some skins out there, there's one in particular that I tried out, that gave you this kind of more modular approach, this more customizable approach into it, but it was definitely a big burn uh, more resource-wise. So, you know, you go through this and the next thing you know, waveforms would look a little fuzzy, a little jittery. And I would always flip back to the default uh, just to make sure that I wasn't uh, losing any uh, performance and ultimately affecting sound or something like that. Sound is, for me, the ultimate manifestation of this. I need to have a great interface to work with, but I also need to make sure that output is great. So I would never want anything to jeopardize that. Now that Virtual DJ has spent some considerable time uh, throwing in what I would say is a much, much better uh, interface to work with, yeah, this now allows me to have a view like this and not have to worry about it. It is a gorgeous view uh, that again is customizable. You know, we can uh, keep on moving our waveforms around. You know, you can change your jog wheels to be even more Serato-like if you want that needle position as opposed to having that just uh, the edge uh, look to it. If you really want to have a um, uh, a virtual DJ look if you want. I almost want to call this the CDJ look to it. Now here you go with that as well. Just gives you a lot of options uh, to work with. Now is this perfect? No. And I still think that one of the things I was hoping that they would address if they would ever had worked on a new and improved skin and they definitely have done that in this case is this text area. Now there seems to have been uh, some confusion from my previous original video of Serato versus Virtual DJ about text size. And everybody's like, oh, you can change text size, and that's true. But more to the point of this area, I call this the action area. You know, this is where your waveforms are. This is where, you know, text is and all that. And I'm going to throw a picture up here in the video. 
right here, uh, just to kind of show what I mean about the difference in text size. So as we can see over here in Serato DJ Pro, uh, this is, happens to be Arial 21 point uh, with some kerning applied, minus 50 uh, kerning. And then the, uh, the artist is definitely a bit smaller, uh, but uh, has that same general look and just gives you a lot more area than what Virtual DJ has where you know it's bold and that definitely helps to distinguish a little bit but you know it's just a bit too small now since i switched to a 15 inch laptop this is less of a problem for me but however my eyes are definitely getting fuzzier over time so naturally the smaller the text area is in certain things is going to be harder to make out now as i said i think they did a, a, an incredible redesign of this and i can definitely make out the text a bit more than i could in the past in certain areas and whatnot things seem a little bit more uh you know distinguishable especially with uh the slight different contrasting colors before it used to be really bright blue really bright red now they're a little bit more dull and i think that actually helps with distinguishing some of the um i hate to use the word fuzziness but you know, it just has a, a much more smoother look uh, to it coming through. So I can actually uh, make things out a little bit more. That being said, uh, seeing like the key letters in here, um, you know, th these are definitely areas that suffer from the smaller text size. Uh, it's uh, not unmakeable, um, but it definitely you have to squeeze. And then you know, this area is almost completely indistinguishable on smaller screens. So it's not perfect uh they definitely huge leaps and bounds from just an aesthetic uh look to this uh, so much nicer i'm definitely going to be rocking these skins here on out for the rest of the year but i do think there's still some room for improvement if the ability to just basically expand this area down you know another 10 or so pixels pushing that down to something almost equal to the serato dj size and just everything gets pushed down another 10, you know, 20 pixels, whatever it ends up happening to be. And that gives you more area for uh, your text for uh, artist and song title. I think that could go a long way, at least for me to, you know, just be able to distinguish things just a little bit more. I'm actually not even bothered that the, uh, this area is a little bit smaller. I think it still visually uh, sticks out. You know, definitely Serato DJ is a bit larger, but it doesn't have to match anything. And I don't necessarily think the Serato DJ is the perfect interface for this anyways. You know, if we happen to look over here in the performance side and we'll get rid of these, um, these uh, waveforms and moving them down, you know, again, this has a nice clean look to it. It's just a bit too small. And if you notice, as you scale, some of the text is actually clipped off just a little bit. Um, I noticed that when you have it at this size, matter of fact, well, let's just expand this just to show, you know, you could definitely see just a bit cut off here. And for some reason, it's not mimicked over in the uh, active drive. And I don't think, yeah, switching does not make that, uh, that difference. Not a huge uh, deal, but it is something that's slightly noticeable. I did notice similar cutoffs in text and older uh, versions of Virtual DJ, so this isn't a uh, 2020 phenomenon. So what's my conclusion in all this? Well, if anybody's seen my uh, latest gig log video, I think it's number 10, uh, that went out just uh, the week before, they know that I went back to Virtual DJ a bit over a month ago, and part of it was their uh, uh, fixing of my NS7 III issues, specifically pitch lock on the wheels. You know, before, if you dragged or nudged with the wheel itself, uh, pitch lock wouldn't happen. They repaired that, and I was really, really grateful that they did. And that's one reason why I really give Virtual DJ its props. Now, with these other companies like Serato, like Pioneer, I don't think they have their ear to the community uh, as well as Virtual DJ does. Um, a great example, and I've mentioned this in my video before, with Virtual DJ, I use a particular tag. Uh, it was grouping. Um, it was there, but it wouldn't allow you to search it. And I need that because of the way I do my sub tagging and all that. And they directly address that fairly quickly. I would have never gotten that kind of response from Pioneer, Serato, and I, and I know because I've actually threw those requests out there to this day, they haven't. Hell, Serato just finally uh, did play count just recently. And that's, I know has been a feature that's been wanted for years. And um, I really have to give my hats off uh, to the folks at Virtual DJ 
who uh, they just really seem to be on top, at least with um, taking all of these uh, user inputs and then at least taking some kind of action on it. You know, enabling features, fixing uh, you know technical issues, or in this case, coming up with a much better looking interface that I really think now will have more people who are the potential switchers over from Rekordbox, Serato, and others and give this a fair shake because again i think virtual dj has been woefully uh, misrepresented in the dj community and i'm hoping that you know all these videos that i've put out has at least shed some light on the power of the application and now more importantly it's a pretty damn good looking application to look at as well well there's a video and i really hope you liked it and if so make sure you hit subscribe on this channel and hit thumbs up on this video head over to my patreon page and subscribe over there if you like content like this and make sure to check out my four djs only playlists and other great content on the site